Afghanistan's Taliban government marked the second anniversary of their return to power with celebrations and a public holiday, saying no invader would be allowed to threaten the country. Flags of the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan, the Taliban's formal name for the country, fluttered at security checkpoints across the capital Kabul, which fell on August 15, 2021 after the US-backed government collapsed and its leaders fled into exile. In the two years since, Taliban authorities have imposed their strict interpretation of Islam, with women bearing the brunt of laws the United Nations has termed gender apartheid. A statement from the authorities hailed a victory that was able to pave the way for the establishment of the Islamic system in Afghanistan. The conquest of Kabul proved once again that no one can control the proud nation of Afghanistan and that no invader will be allowed to threaten the independence and freedom of the country, it said. Hundreds of Taliban supporters, from elderly men to young boys, gathered near the abandoned U.S. embassy building, one of the many that now stands empty. The Taliban government is still not formally recognized by any other country. U.S.-made military vehicles, claimed by the new Taliban rulers when they were left behind by international forces after a weeks-long chaotic withdrawal, rolled past the ajar gates of the fortified embassy walls.